So right now what I'm gonna do is I'll be reacting to Chevrolet's character demo first and then I will be reacting to her collected miscellany because I, I just I'm just genuinely curious how her, her gameplay is. So without further ado, let's start things off by checking out her character demo first. Wait, 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 I'm not freaking done yet, you piece of... Gosh dang it. Alright, let's, let's begin. Alright, let's react to Chevrolet's some character demo. I love anything full of grease and sugar. Food like that provides me with ample energy during the workday. Plus, it's a real mood booster. But, on my days off, I like to read crime novels. I find them very interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm Chevrolet, <clears throat> Captain of Fontaine's Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Is there a case that needs my attention? The Special Security and Surveillance Patrol deals with a host of heinous crimes and criminals. The criminals aren't your everyday goody-goodies from the Palais Mermonia. As such, the methods we employ to enforce the law can be a bit on the harsher side. Stop right there! Drop your weapons! Okay. They're going with the superhero fight uh, song. Try to use the sound of thunder to conceal gunshots, but that trick doesn't fool my ears. Hands where I can see them. Another day of work over, and without any huge disasters to boot. Oh, that reminds me. I should grab the latest copy of the murder files. What? Huh. Well, that's kind of underwhelming to be very honest. That character demo was, was kind of underwhelming to be very honest. Okay, you know what? Let's check out her collected miscellany. In the interests of manpower, Fontaine's Special Security and Surveillance Patrol has had to widen their net and take on a number of unusual characters. This has led to many personality clashes in the past, but if one thing unites them all, it is their absolute obedience to Captain Chevres' command. After all, any would-be troublemakers would probably have to out-train her first. A little extra training never hurts. The Special Patrol is tasked with taking on the most dangerous cases and taking down the worst offenders. Their captain, Chevres, combines the power of her pyrovision with her skilled marksmanship to great effect as she works with her team to uphold justice. Seizing the initiative is key in a crisis. When Chevres is in the party, she reduces sprinting stamina consumption for your own party members, making exploration faster. Okay. Chevrolet's normal attack but can combo up to four strikes with her nighttime. pole arm, dealing physical damage. Using her charged attack, Chevrolet consumes a certain amount of stamina to lunge forward, dealing okay. physical Easy. damage to enemies along the way. When her elemental skill is tapped, Chevrolet quickly draws her musket and fires at the enemy, dealing AOE pyro damage. Okay. Hold her elemental skill to enter aiming mode. Locking on to a target in her sights to fire a more precise shot. Okay. For a certain duration after Chevrolet discharges her elemental skill, she will continuously restore HP to the active character. The amount oh. of HP restored is based on her max HP. Oh man. Whenever that means a she's HP. Party member oh, she's HP base. Reaction, Chevrolet gains an overcharged ball. She can keep only one overcharged ball in her possession at any one time. Oh, it's basically, and if it's basically a budget version of uh, released, Navia. The overcharged ball is fired instead, dealing greater pyro damage over a larger area. She's literally a budget version of Navia. When Chevrolet's elemental skill strikes an enemy, a surging blade is summoned, which deals Usia aligned pyro damage. After unlocking the talent Vertical Force Coordination, for a certain period after Chevrolet fires an overcharged ball with her elemental skill, 
All nearby Pyro and Electro party members gain a percentage attack bonus based on Shervers' max HP. Yeah, Shervers is literally a uh, HP. This way has a limit. HP based skill kit. Her kit when is really HP skill. Complementary skill sets are brought together. But then again, the most stronger. After unlocking the talent Vanguard's coordinated tactics, when the party is composed entirely of both Pyro and Electro members, Shavra's grants coordinated tactics to all nearby party members. Sorry, po sorry for pausing. So long story short, right? Shavra's um, kit is literally him HP skill. But then again, right? Um, ever since the introduction of Fontaine, right? A lot of Fontaine characters, such as the likes of Nuvilet uh, and Frina, along with uh, Shervers, they're all based on HP scaling. So, what I'm hoping Genshin will do in the future, right? Where we'll be getting characters that based on defense scaling. I don't, but I don't know if it will, be, it will happen in Natlan or it will happen in the Shiznaya in the, I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure whether it will, it will be implemented on the Natlan characters or it will be implemented on the Shiznayan characters. I, I doubt it will, they will implement it on the Natlan characters because Natlan characters are practically uh, mostly fire element um, characters. So I assume all of them are um, attack percent scaling. It might be on um, Shiznaya though. But I really hope that in the future, right, Genshin will implement a defense, will create more defense scaling characters, just like what they're doing with, um, Fontaine, uh, with the Fontaine characters right now, where a lot of their characters are, their scaling are based on HP. Continuing. After a character triggers the overloaded reaction, coordinated tactics decreases both the pyro and electro resistance of enemies affected by the overloaded reaction. Okay. Hands where I can see them. Unleashing her elemental burst, Shavra's fires an explosive grenade from her musket, dealing AOE pyro damage. Okay. After the explosive grenade hits, it splits into several secondary explosive shells. These shells will explode after a short duration, dealing pyro damage to nearby enemies. The musket is Shavra's weapon of choice. Once she's got you in her iron sights, you'd better be ready for a firefight. In battle, Shavra's primarily uses her elemental skill to support her teammates, not only from the firepower, but also by healing the active character after discharging her weapon. Okay. When she is in a party that meets the requirements, her passive talent reduces enemy resistance to Pyro and Electro, right. after a party member triggers an overloaded reaction against them. Furthermore, firing overcharged balls can increase her comrade's attack, bolstering the team's effectiveness. Okay. When energy is full, Shuffra's unleashes her elemental burst, firing an explosive grenade with secondary explosive shells to deal AoE pyro damage, paving the way for the team to move in and apprehend the suspects. In Fontaine, there is one law for all, but people's own conceptions of justice can differ quite drastically, depending on their individual life experiences. This can be a source of tension, so Shavraz does not impose her own private notions of justice onto other people. And yet, she reserves the right to judge portrayals of justice elsewhere. If you're curious to know more, try buying her some deep-fried snacks and get her talking about popular novels and shows. Cute. I think you'll find what she has to say less intimidating than her stern gaze might suggest. Cute. Okay, I think I pretty much get the rough idea of how Shavuos works.